the Jets have just signed tight end Tyler Conklin to a three-year, $21 million deal. This is a home run signing for a multitude of reasons, but why I love this signing so much is because he knows how to block in the run game. Hallelujah. Because Ryan Griffin sucked at blocking. A lot of those third and short, fourth and short run calls that didn't work is because Ryan Griffin fucked up his block when he was blocking and coming around and blocking the edge defender or someone in the C-gap. But now, Tyler Conklin, he played in a very similar system in Minnesota under Clint Kubiak, which asks him to do some of the dirty work uh, in the run game, which is blocking. And he's also viable uh, as a receiving threat, too. He had 593 yards on 63 receptions. That is very serviceable. Keep in mind the Vikings traded for Chris Herndon, too. But instead, they went to Tyler Conklin. Kirk Cousins trusted him. I think he had like 80-plus targets here, which is pretty good considering they had Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. So... Tyler Conklin, he's a he's a good player. I wouldn't say he's great. I wouldn't say he's a superstar, not at all. But he is an impactful player, and it was rumored that the Jets were not done at tight end even after signing CJ Uzama. And lo and behold, hey, we've Tyler Conklin, a guy that is a is a very very good uh, system and scheme fit. And Michael Floor is going to have a lot of fun kind of implementing him into our offense. And we're going to be running a lot of twelve personnel, two tight end sets. Man, I'd love to see that when we reach the end, or when, we, when we're in the red zone this season. I think it's something that he wanted to try to do, but he couldn't really do it because of the personnel. And this kind of reminds me of like what the Niners did when they, when they signed Jordan Reed. I think it was in 2020, and they already had Kittle. Now, obviously, CJ Uzama is not George Kittle, and neither is Tyler Conklin, but it's similar in the sense that Uzama is a better uh, receiving threat, and Tyler Conklin, in my opinion, is a better blocker. Uh, take it how you will, but... 7 mil annually, I love it. I don't know what the guarantees are quite yet. I guess it's around 12 million though. Probably not too high just because 2020 or 2021 was really when he started to show some signs that he could be a, a viable tight end because before that, he was on, he was like third on the depth chart behind Irv Smith Jr. and then Kyle Rudolph when he was in Minnesota too. So We'll see how it goes. I like it though. From a, I, I love it though, just from the fact that our run game will be a lot better, and hopefully, these third and short and fourth and short run play calls will actually work and not be screwed up because of Greg Van Roten messing up or Ryan Griffin. So I love the signing. Let me know what your Jets fans think about this down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, all and any, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.